Hello everyone and welcome back to College Dunya Study Abroad. My name is Swapnil and today we are going to talk about a very lesser known university, the Kent State University, which is a public university. For international students, it has a good acceptance rate and is very affordable as well. Today we have Meghna, who is pursuing her master's degree pursue kar rahi hai, in data science from Kent State University. and let's just jump right into the conversation but before we move ahead if you also have a dream of pursuing your studies abroad and you have questions queries then description pe jao click on the first link apna basic details bharo and hamare expert counselors aapko 24 hours mein zarur reach out karenge we also have two very interesting offerings the visa guarantee package and the offer letter guarantee package so do not forget to check them out as well वीडियो को लाइक करो अगर पसंद आए तो चैनल को भी सब्सक्राइब करो एंड लेट्स मूव अहेड इन कॉन्वर्जेशन हाय मेघना डू यू वांट टू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ टू आवर व्यूअर्स हाय स्वप्निल श्योर आई लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ सो लाइक स्वप्निल ऑलरेडी सेल्फ टोल्ड यू आई एम मेघना आई एम ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम हैदराबाद इन इंडिया एंड आई डिड माय बैचलर्स बीएससी इन मैथ्स स्टैट्स एंड कंप्यूटर्स and i graduated in 2020 so bsc me i scored a gpa of 9.5 so uske baad mujhe ko direct masters karna tha in data science but uh, because 2020 me covid ho rakha tha uh, traveling was difficult i decided to gain some work experience before i could move abroad hmm. so uh, i got i applied for a couple of interviews on campus jo i the company then usme se i got selected into deloitte and I worked in Lloyd for two years as a business analyst. That's nice. That's nice. Awesome. Uh, so uh, I guess I guess we'll talk about your academic profile in depth uh, later in this whole conversation. But uh, let's let's begin with the first things. I guess जब जब एक जब एक student uh, he or she tries to you know go abroad, the first thing that they do is try to shortlist their college, try to shortlist their program. uh let's take a couple steps back and uh, uh, tell us something about how did you shortlist your universities kahan kahan pe tumne applications dale kahan se accepts aaye kahan se rejects aaye to maine a bsc kara tha which is total of 15 years of education and us mein na maximum colleges require 16 years of education so the options to apply were also very limited though i dreamt of like going to other universities and stuff i unfortunately could not apply to them because of this uh, condi- the 15 year condition that i had what, here what was what was your dream university where you couldn't apply i really wanted to go to uh, universities of california berkeley or oh, uh, la yeah, yeah. yeah. like the yeah, yeah. program the data science program there is fantastic as well so yeah that is one mm-hmm. of the places i want to go but nevertheless i did get i did land into a really good university so i have no qualms about it abhi yeah, yeah of course oh. to kahan kahan pe apply kara tha sir and kahan kahan se accepts and rejects aaye a uh, to apply maine kara tha uh, apart from kent state university i had applied at uh, northeastern university yeah. which is in boston फिर मैंने अप्लाई किए थे यूटीए और यूएनटी में अच्छा एंड आई आल्सो अप्लाइड एट यूएमबीसी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मैरीलैंड बाल्टिमोर काउंटी राइट 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 सो अ टोटल ऑफ फोर यूनिवर्सिटीज यस अ फाइव टोटल ऑफ फाइव यूनिवर्सिटीज ओके ऑलराइट कहां-कहां से एक्सेप्ट्स हैं सो आई गॉट एक्सेप्टेड इनटू नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न आई गॉट एक्सेप्ट एंड बाल्टिमोर में भी एक्सेप्टेंस आया था Mm-hmm. UNT, I got deferred to another program, so they were not. Uh, I was going, I wasn't getting data science. They asked me uh, if I was okay to do a master's in artificial intelligence. Okay. And I got rejected at UTA because of okay. uh, the okay. GRE score. अच्छा अच्छा so I have a couple of questions now. Why do Why do you think UNT ने तो मैं एक different program में defer करा? What's What's the reason behind it? Uh, okay so the the answer they gave was that the number the student count they were looking at for data science has already filled up and there were seats in um, artificial intelligence so that's why they had Achha. like deferred me to yeah acha okay and uh, why did you think you got the uh, reject from utt so from U- so you so you utt 
like it wasn't a mandatory to submit a GRE score, but uh, what I heard was from like people who guided me in all this process. the preference was given to students who gave gre compared to those who did not give gre acha so okay. i had not which, given my which gre which intake which intake were you coming in uh, to us kaun se i was coming line? in for spring 23 acha spring 23 okay so during the covid times gre was waived off uh, from a lot of universities but now i guess Correct. a lot of universities are uh, accepting have GRE. restarted yeah mm. what uh, what other exams did you have to give uh to for english proficiency i had given duolingo and i scored a okay. 135 on that so maine apne why, duolingo why duolingo toefl and ielts kyun nahi uh so to keep you very honest my prep to come to the us started like at the nick of the time to अगस्त में मैंने स्टार्ट किया अपना पूरा प्रेपरेशन टू अप्लाई फॉर यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड स्प्रिंग के एप्लीकेशन क्लोज होते हैं अक्टूबर में तो ड्यूलिंगो इज एन इजियर एग्जाम तो मैंने सोचा कि ठीक है अटेम्प्ट करके देख लेते हैं अगर चल इफ एवरीथिंग फॉल्स इनटू प्लेस देन आई विल गो फॉर द स्प्रिंग इनटेक नहीं तो फॉल को डेफर कर लेंगे तब यू नो अच्छे से प्रिपेयर करके बट कोर्स के साथ अप्लाई करेंगे करके बट ड्यूलिंगो दिस इज अ डिसेंट स्ट्रेटजी ड्यूलिंगो काफी यूनिवर्सिटीज एक्सेप्ट करती हैं सो दिस दिस इज फाइन दिस इज फाइन सो मूविंग अहेड टू योर एडमिशन प्रोसेस नाउ यू स्टार्टेड योर होल जर्नी इन द मंथ ऑफ अगस्त व्हाट वर द स्टेप्स व्हाट वर द इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स द इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट एन इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट शुड बी यू नो कंसीडरिंग द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट स्टेप फॉर एनी इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट व्हाइल अप्लाइंग अब्रॉड has to be to have a great sop and a couple of letter of recommendations from their professors or if mm. they are working professionals uh, uh, from like a senior manager that adds mm. a lot of value to the tumhare sop ke liye kitna time laga tha tumhe sop likhne mein to sop likhne mein to mujhe ek din laga pura brainstorm karke likhne mein but final draft aane mein ek teen din lage the like it went okay. to a couple of people for reviews and unhone unke pointers diye fir usko incorporate karke usko make a pre- to make it a presentable sop it took a total of 3 days hmm. all right all right i forgot to ask one question while you were applying for all these universities yahan pe application fee of course kafi heavy hogi har university ki right correct so it ranges from 100 to 150 dollars but mm-hmm. uh, certain universities had waived off application fee jaise umbc had sent me a coupon code on mail jisko okay. use karne pe the application fee had uh, been waived off that's that's nice did you have to do something to get this coupon code ya fir uh, nahi nahi uh, it was just like a first come first serve kind of a coupon code that they had sent okay i think this is yeah. a very valuable information for our viewers uh, that's that's great awesome uh uh so yes talking about your admission process what did you do when did you do take us through your whole admission process now so if we uh, go to the timeline i very clearly remember i had started writing my sop on august 31st which was ganesh chaturthi last year september the september may the actual process had started so by september 10th i had submitted all my applications mm. lors maine pehle hi collect karke rakhe the from my uh, professors Achha. at the university and at, uh, from a uh, senior manager at work but uh, the slightly tricky part was a couple of universities accepted a pdf loaded sop so aap apna uh, pdf direct load kar sakte ho but a mm-hmm. couple of universities ask you for the uh, professor's name and their email id and they send mm-hmm. a form kind of a thing to the professors taki wo log directly certify kar sake ki you know the student is eligible enough to study abroad so mm-hmm. wo professors six uh, you know coordinate karke pura kaam karwane mein thoda time lagta hai and mm-hmm. it's a little scary ki what if the deadline if they miss the deadline what if i do not yes. get into it Yes, 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 yes. Of course, of course. But uh, I, I think that's the thrill of this whole study abroad journey. Ki, you know, uh, it's not totally depending upon you. Uh, there okay. are other people coming into play as well. Okay, all right. So after the SOP and the LORs, uh, what happened? And uh, when did you get your uh, acceptance letter from uh, Kent State University? I got my acceptance letter exactly four weeks after I applied. So I have. September 7th ya 8th ko apply kar raha tha and I got my acceptance on October 8 acha theek hai i now my question is ki the first acceptance letter that you got uh, from all these universities 
what was your reaction take us through your reaction ki kya how did you react it so i was waiting i was waiting eagerly to get an acceptance it was hmm. i was a little no i was very nervous because you know couple of people around me were getting rejections from universities and i'm like yaar mere ko to response bhi nahi aa raha hai tum log at least reject ho rahe ho theek hai dusre universities mein mujhe mujhe universities ne ghost kar diya hai guys Ah, legit. Uh, I mean, you know, was status ek hi jagah aata tha reviewing under process. So yeah. it was a little scary. But ha, finally, jab maine dekha accepted, I was thrilled. I was बहुत खुश हुई मैं कि हाँ ठीक है चलो one step towards the dream. हम्म तो पहला पहला acceptance letter Kent State University का ही आया था कि किसी और university का? नहीं नहीं पहला Kent State से ही आया था. अच्छा उसके बाद तो चलो जो एक्सेप्टेंस लेटर्स आए होंगे फिर तो आदत ही पड़ गई है ना एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट नहीं इट वाज मोर इट वाज नाइस इट इज नाइस टू सी एक्सेप्टेंस लेटर्स कमिंग इन हां बट कैन स्टेट से पहले मुझे एक्चुअली रिजेक्शन आया था जो यूटीए से आया था तो आई द स्पिरिट्स वर एक्चुअली अ लिटिल लो कि यार रिजेक्ट मैं रिजेक्ट क्यों हो गई वाली फीलिंग थी बट हां राइट 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 तो आई गेस ऑल दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज गेव यू अ प्रॉपर आंसर कि उन्होंने रिजेक्ट क्यों करा है तुम्हारी प्रोफाइल को राइट यस यस दे डिड सो इट वाज ओनली यूटीए व्हिच हैड रिजेक्टेड एंड द अदर यूएनटी हैड डेफर्ड तो उन्होंने क्लियरली मेंशन करा था वहां पे कि लैक ऑफ जीआरई स्कोर्स हैज कॉज दिस डिफ्लेक्शन इन आवर डिसीजन ना काइंडली ट्राई टू टेक द जीआरई एंड रीअप्लाई करके उन्होंने मेंशन किया था तो अच्छा ओके चलो ठीक है अभी तो एक्सेप्टेंस लेटर वगैरह आ गया है व्हाट वाज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट यू डिड आफ्टर सीइंग योर एक्सेप्टेंस लेटर आफ्टर सीइंग द एक्सेप्टेंस लेटर आई इमीडिएटली अप्लाइड फॉर एन आई20 बिकॉज़ ड्यूरिंग द टाइम आई वाज कमिंग देयर वाज स्टिल एन इशू विद लाइक यू नो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वीसा स्लॉट्स कि यू नो उतने बल्क में रिलीज नहीं हो रहे थे इट इज लाइक grab it as fast as you get so i needed yeah, yeah. a service id for that so uske liye i mm-hmm. had applied for an i20 and um, the i20 was issued in the next 10 days mm-hmm. and uske mm-hmm. baad maine immediately visa process shuru kar diya acha okay okay and how did your whole visa process go and uh, how was the visa interview what were the questions that were asked uh, from you so my visa process went really smooth like i uh, had the set of questions that you know टिपिकल क्वेश्चन दट आर आर्स बाई द वीसा ऑफिसर्स जैसे आप कौन से यूनिवर्सिटी जा रहे हो फंड कौन कर रहा है आपको एक्सेट्रा तो मैंने उन सारे क्वेश्चन का नोट बना रखा था वन थिंग दैट रियली हेल्प मी ड्यूरिंग माई वीसा प्रोसेस इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस फॉर द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप्स सो देर आर सर्टन एक्टिव टेलीग्राम ग्रुप दैट कॉन्स्टेंटली कंडक्ट मॉक इंटरव्यूज Okay. Okay. You just have to join that Telegram group and ask anyone if they're up for a mock, and then they take your hmm. mock, and you can take their mock. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want to give a shout out to any of these groups? Uh, the Telegram thing. Sure. Uh, I think <coughs> it is called F1 Optimus. Um, that really helped me mock interviews. They. Okay. I'd okay. like to thank them for their support. You know, उन्होंने इतना help किया मेरे मेरे confidence को build up करने में. Hmm. That. Hmm. Yeah. I, they were really amazing so unke wajah se i mean i can uh, totally accredit them clear i cleared my interview because of you guys hmm, perfect perfect so, that's awesome so abhi jaise ek visa interview questions poochta hai na i also have uh, another question which is related to paisa uh, mm-hmm. what is your tuition fee and how are you funding it uh, are you funding it yourself or do you have a loan ah uh, okay so the tuition fee is based upon the number of credits so uh, For data science, at least to get a deg- master's degree in data science, you are required to complete thirty credits. Okay. And per credit is thousand dollars. Okay. So the tuition fee goes around thirty thousand dollars, exclusive mm-hmm. of other like insurance and stuff. So pura mila yeah. ke it goes max to max up to thirty five, thirty six k. Okay. To complete your degree, and okay. uh, I've taken a loan. I've taken a loan from Prodigy Finance to fund my education okay. here. All right, all right. So, uh, Prodigy Finance. I have heard that these guys are giving a lot of uh, uh, loans. Just me, collateral ki bhi zarurat nahi hai. Is that true? Correct, correct. They do. Have you have you taken a similar kind of a loan? Yes, I did take a similar kind of a loan. Uh, I did okay, not perfect. put any collateral against it. So yeah. Ach, very nice, very nice. So, what's the interest rate that Prodigy Finance is uh, charging uh, international students? Abhi. The interest is uh, slightly higher. It ranges from ten point five 
to 12.5 acha 10.5 to 12.5 that's uh, that's pretty uh, high of a number uh, if you compare it to the public banks why did you Correct. not go to a public bank uh, i was not very keen on uh, getting a loan against a collateral i was um, okay. i was looking to getting a non collateral loan and uh, prodigy finance was one of the institutions that gave me a loan based on um, like you know it, it didn't really ask for huge collateral hmm, so hmm, it was i guess that. shout out to prodigy finance uh, who helped out make na here and uh, of course uh, people who are you know aspiring to go abroad and pursue their studies should check out prodigy finance moving ahead now uh, we we talked about your uh, tuition fee now i want to understand uh, uh, what's your monthly expense like and uh, give me a couple of numbers ki kahan ka pe kitne kitne kharche ho rahe hain tumhare ek mahine mein so for rent i pay 230 dollars on my rent hmm electricity sab mila ke it goes uh, matlab rehne ka kharcha aata hai around 270 dollars acha तो ये ऑन कैंपस अकोमोडेशन है या ऑफ कैंपस अकोमोडेशन नहीं ऑफ कैंपस अकोमोडेशन है वी आई फिट इन अ टू बेडरूम ऑन कैंपस ऑन कैंपस इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव ऑन कैंपस में बस रहने का खर्चा 1000 डॉलर्स आता है पर मंथ सो एंड इफ यू आर 21 एंड अबव यू आर अलाउड यू हैव अ परमिट टू स्टे ऑफ कैंपस सो अच्छा ऑलराइट ऑलराइट सो यस वी वुड टॉकिंग अबाउट योर मंथली रेंट 270 डॉलर्स हो गए तुम्हारे रेंट रेंट के हाँ तो मैं रहती हूँ एक टू बी एच के हाउस में विच आई शेयर विद लाइक फाइव अदर गर्ल्स ओके या ऑलराइट एंड खाने पीने का जाता है सौ डॉलर के आसपास या सो ऑल ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस जो अभी इस टू बी एच के में रह रहे हैं सब इंडियंस हैं या डू यू हैव मिक्स क्राउड ओवर देयर एस वेल नो वी आर ऑल इंडियंस इन फैक्ट दिस होल कम्युनिटी दैट आई स्टे इन इन केंट आई थिंक 90 परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इज इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स ओके ऑलराइट या देयर आर लाइक मेबी द अदर 10 परसेंट इज द रेसिडेंट्स हु बीन हियर फॉर अ वाइल सो आई थिंक जो जो इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स केंट यूनिवर्सिटी जाना चाहते हैं केंट स्टेट यूनिविवर्सिटी सो आई गेस दे विल बी सीइंग अ लॉट ऑफ इंडियंस अराउंड देम सेफ टू से राइट ट्रू दैट ट्रू दैट ऑफ कोर्स ओके So, uh, अभी टू सेवेंटी डॉलर हो गए तुम्हारे रेंट के uh, खाने पीने का मिला के हंड्रेड डॉलर और वट आर दर एक्सपेंसिस कुछ मिसलेनियस या फिर बाहर घूमने फिरने का यू नो गोइंग आउट बाहर घूमने फिरने का इज लाइक टोटली अप टू एन इंडिविजुअल राइट तो उसके हिसाब से वो मंथली खर्चे के नीचे नहीं आएगा मे बी वंस इन वाइल वेन यू गो आउट मैक्स टू मैक्स हंड्रेड डॉलर होंगे उससे ज्यादा आई डोंट थिंक होता है खर्चे के हिसाब से बिकॉज ट्रांसपोर्ट यहाँ पे फ्री है यूनिवर्सिटी जाना हो या मे बी जैसे ग्रोसरीज लेने वॉलमार्ट तक जाना हो यू हैव अ बस दैट टेक्स यू अराउंड ऑन योर स्टूडेंट आई डी फॉर फ्री ओके ओके ये ये जो फ्री टर्म है क्या ये एग्जैक्टली फ्री है या इसकी फीस ऑलरेडी तुम्हारे ट्यूशन फी के उसमें नो इट्स नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्यूशन फी इट इज लाइक इट इज फ्री Okay, perfect. Because uh, we, of course, we do talk to a lot of students, and uh, I guess her university to university it differs. Ki uh, transport ka and bus ka cost wagera ka kya scenario rahega. So a lot yeah. of universities already a front paisa le lete hain, and mm-hmm. a lot of universities are actually giving it out for free. So yes, that's awesome. So mahine ka total kharcha kitna aa raha hai? Let's put a pin down to it. So max to max. Uh, it goes around four hundred and fifty dollars. उससे ज़्यादा नहीं होता है। मतलब एक international student को साढ़े चार सौ से पांच सौ dollars तो लगेंगे ही लगेंगे एक महीने का अपना। To stay in Kent State University. हम्म, to stay in Kent State University. All right. हाँ. So uh, how do you basically commute uh, to your university on a daily basis? So I take the bus. Hmm. Okay. Or sometimes I walk uh, because it is just fifteen minutes away from my from the place I stay. अच्छा, 90% So yeah, in a shared accommodation, the max to max um, rent goes up to three fifty dollars. 
अच्छा ओके एंड डू यू गाइस लाइक हैव अ हॉट स्पॉट की ठीक है यहां पे स्टूडेंट्स बहुत ज्यादा घर देते हैं बिकॉज़ यू नो इट्स चीपर ओवर देयर एंड डोंट गो इन दैट एरिया बिकॉज़ बहुत महंगा होगा उधर ऐसा कुछ है क्या कैंप में नो नॉट रियली बट लाइक नो हॉट स्पॉट ऐसे कुछ नहीं है बिकॉज़ लाइक आई टोल्ड यू इनिशियली 90% ऑफ द रेसिडेंट्स हियर आर स्टूडेंट्स तो आप कहीं भी जाओ आपको स्टूडेंट्स मिलेंगे हु स्टे एट decent prices so mm, mm. yeah cost of living is comparatively very low in kent compared to other uh, places in the united states is what i felt mm. Mm. okay chalo one last question about your monthly kharche uh, mm-hmm. let's say megna agar uh, one fine day i have to go out and i want to go out uh, for 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 a uh, bahar ja ke dine in karna hai ya fir i just have to you know go out for a couple of beers कितने डॉलर्स मेरे जेब में होने चाहिए कि ठीक है एक रात मेरी अच्छे से आई कुड आई कुड एंजॉय इन कैंट इन एन अराउंड कैंट तो यहां पे बिरयानी आती है 20 डॉलर की ओके तो वो भी ऑफ कोर्स यू आर फ्रॉम हैदराबाद सी ऑफ कोर्स यू आर फ्रॉम हैदराबाद लेट्स कंपेयर हैदराबाद की बिरयानी टू कैंट की बिरयानी हैदराबाद की बिरयानी इज द बेस्ट बट या Thankfully, they have a couple of places here that serve really good Indian food. So, yeah, mm-hmm. we're well sorted. Chalo, nice, nice. At least you are getting a decent biryani and Indian food over there. Sure. ठीक है. तो बीस डॉलर चाहिए मुझे बिरयानी खाने के लिए. Sir, हाँ. Um, max to max, I think आपके पास पचास से साठ डॉलर हो तो you can really have a good time. Okay, okay, okay. Do you have any favorite uh, favorite place to hang out uh, in and around Kent? Favorite place to hang out? No, not really. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, yeah. To like hang out, you know, so to a refresh. So, ne ke liye we usually go to the Rec Center in Kent. Okay. Okay. Which is basically the university's recreation and wellness center. Okay. The amenities okay. there are amazing, so I really like mm-hmm. going there to play badminton for some time. It has a good pool. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Sorry, mm-hmm. You know? That's 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 really nice, and of course, uh, it it would be uh, open to all the students, right? As a it is, it is open. Yeah, it is open to all the students, and उसका भी कोई खर्चा नहीं लगता. Direct अपना mm-hmm. student ID tap करके you can just go. In. Hmm. How often are you uh, going to this recreation center and playing badminton or yeah, for going for a swim? I go maybe like once in a week for sure, maybe over the weekends for, uh, on Saturday. Yeah, I take out one hmm. hour and yeah, me and my friends just go there to hang baki, out. Baki, baki ke saare din kya? It's it's very busy life as an international student, Kent man. It I is because. So, uh, yes it is because my day starts with me going to uh, my on campus part time job and mm-hmm. then i have my classes and then after classes i have to come back home and take care of the household chores mm-hmm. and uske baad uh, so yahan pe we have this assignment ka system har mm-hmm. week assignment hota hai to wo assignment pe work karna hota hai mm-hmm. and yeah wo karte karte raat ke 12 baj jate hai of course so i'll come i'll I'll come to part-time jobs. I'll I'll come to your assignments as well. But uh, mm-hmm. let's first uh, talk about your university and the classrooms that you're in. Uh, mm-hmm. Tell me the first uh, the first reaction that you had when you saw Kent State University. Uh, can you can you maybe narrate the whole uh, uh, whole scenario? Okay, so the first time I had like actually come to Kent and I went to the campus to you know complete my formalities as soon. So, till the classes hadn't started, so mm-hmm. but I had these other formalities, the transcripts, one, okay. bring it, ID, bring it. So, I was blown. It was such a beautiful campus, and the you know uh, it was snowing, so it looked even prettier with all the snow. So, of course, I've heard that I Kent has has a lot of. Uh, You know the weather over there is very uh, rigorous and aggressive. Uh, it is. It is slightly colder compared to other states in the United States uh, during mm. winters and summer. Summer में गर्मी भी इतनी चुपती है, तो या. अच्छा. Okay. But otherwise, it is good living wise. ठीक है. It is manageable. It's not bad like a. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So I always had. Uh, 
you know student of the year ki cafeteria the classrooms yeah, yeah. yeah, that yeah. kind of an image and it totally matched to that <laughs> okay all right yeah. all right karan karan johar basically did a great, great work picturing <laughs> everything <laughs> nice okay uh and uh, what was your first day like when you were there in kent state university what all happened uh like uh, with respect to the class like my first day in class uh, the first day when it was your orientation ya yeah, fir uh, jo bhi jo, what was your first day is my question so the first day was the orientation where they were like um, it, it was an international student orientation that i had first attended so i got to meet people from a lot of countries from a lot of different continents were here and mm-hmm. it is great catching up to them uh, and then that's when i realized how diverse the culture at kent is and how accepting the people here are to other cultures and other communities mm-hmm. and they made us feel really warm so it so, was a good matlab, experience ऐसा इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स का ओरिएंटेशन अलग होता है वहां के लोकल्स का ओरिएंटेशन अलग होता है ऐसा कुछ है क्या नहीं 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 सो देयर वाज अ इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट ओरिएंटेशन एंड देन देयर वाज अ ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट ओरिएंटेशन सो वी गॉट टू अटेंड बोथ द ओरिएंटेशन सो ग्रेजुएट ओरिएंटेशन वाज एड्रेस्ड टू ऑल द ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स हु आर कमिंग इन फॉर द स्प्रिंग 23 सेमेस्टर Hmm. So international student orientation was held to speak about the diversity and you know make us feel accepted and at home. So hmm. that was the effort for why uh, this orientation was conducted. Because you mentioned diversity, uh, let's talk about uh, your your batch as well. So, our mm-hmm. batch me kaha kaha se log aaye hue hain. So, my uh, huge popular. I see a huge Indian crowd for sure. apart okay. from india there are people from other parts of asia like thailand uh, mm. japan china who are here mm. to do their masters mm. and uh, we see a lot of people from uh, different countries of africa like uganda ghana mm. who are here to do their mm. masters acha if i have to ask you ki percentage mein kuch split batao apne pure batch ka to what would be that uh, including india as well पूरे बैच का आई एम नॉट टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई एम नॉट वेरी शॉर्ट बिकॉज आई कैन टॉक अबाउट द वन फॉर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस मतलब जो हु आर इन लाइक कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड सब डिविजन्स या तो देयर आई सी 80% इंडियंस एंड 20% ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज तो मतलब अपने देश से निकल के भी अपने लोग पीछा नहीं छोड़ रहे हैं मिल जाएंगे तो मैं वहां पे भी इंडियंस बहुत आ रहा है अच्छा ओके ऑलराइट all right uh now coming to the faculty uh, that is teaching you and the course and the curriculum firstly how is the faculty how learned are they and uh, how is the whole course and the curriculum looking at uh, for for kent state university the faculty are really <laughs> good in this project they are like extremely learned and skilled mm. so Yeah, uh, Kent State offers a great faculty for uh, to you know, empower anyone's learning journey. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. coming to the course and the curriculum, uh, so speaking for data science, like I mentioned, we are uh, uh, we are we are required to complete thirty credits in order to get the degree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, of those thirty credits, I think six subjects are mandatory mandatory to complete. you have two okay. electives that you can take according to your choice and your preference mm-hmm. and phir mm-hmm. hota hai capstone project or a internship okay okay tumhare kya kya majors uh, major subjects the and what were your electives to so, mere major subjects the applied statistics uh, computational statistics statistical learning uh, big data analytics data mining techniques and um, advanced database so basically something in uh, l- the lines of sql so right, these right, were my right. majors hmm. and coming to my elective so one was probabilistic data management hmm hmm and the other one that i had taken was data security and privacy because Achha. i just wanted okay. to see like how uh, data science is also used in um, the crypto industry hmm. because hmm. Up, you know hmm. there is a lot of growth in yeah, that yeah. particular industry but apart of from course, this for as an elective you 
Europe offered uh, artificial intelligence and courses in machine learning for an individual hmm. to take up. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, talking a little bit more about your faculty. This is a faculty that I'm studying data science. Ka plan thora uh, mm-hmm. Where are these folks coming from? How, how? What's their experience like? And how helpful are they to international students? So, a couple of faculty members are from our international residents as well. Okay. Like they are from um, different parts of Asia, like uh, Taiwan and. Um, China and Japan, and there are a couple of Native American uh, faculty members as well. And what I've seen is all of them are open to international students. They're very helpful. They give you their set office timings, and you know they're always available over email or in person in the office for anyone to approach mm. them during their given mm. office timings. Mm. And uh, yeah, they really guide you and. In case of a doubt, or yeah, you know, if you really this, want this, this might this might might sound like a very new question, but uh, mm-hmm. uh, like Indian professors, uh, you know, students के साथ deal करते हैं, डाटते हैं, so on and so forth. क्या Kent uh, State या बाहर के faculty members भी कुछ ऐसे ही treat करते हैं students को? अभी तक तो I've not come across a professor <laughs> जिन्होंने ऐसे डाटा है या कुछ बोला है, mm-hmm. but I think it depends individual to individual. So it may be that they are a little strict, hote hai, and then there are professors mm-hmm. who are extremely lenient and who follow a more friendly approach towards teaching. So, ha. But I'm sure, no, it's not strict. So, it won't happen that you know, like uh, in Indian schools, they get scared by being beaten by the teacher. No, I sab think no, no, no. Yes, it's the case. Of course, of course, of course, of course. But that's great. That's great that uh, faculty over there are helpful. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the part-time jobs and uh, mm-hmm. in, jobs in general. Uh, mm-hmm. Is the faculty also helpful, uh, you know, while while you are doing this whole job prospect वाला thing? क्या आप पिछले कुछ ऐसे cases हुए हैं जहाँ पे faculty ने ही you know कहीं पे reference लगा दिया हो? Because networking plays a lot of uh, mm-hmm. uh, plays an important role in a foreign land, right? तो क्या फैकल्टीज हेल्प आउट करते हैं जॉब्स ढूंढने में तो मतलब आई वुड से हेल्प आउट लाइक एज ऑफ माय नॉलेज और फ्रॉम लाइक व्हाट आई हैव सीन विद माय फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टफ कि दे डेफिनेटली सेंड आउट ग्रेट रेकमेंडेशंस बट लाइक मे बी पिचिंग अ जॉब एज ऑफ सच आई एम नॉट वेरी अवेयर आई एम नॉट श्योर और अवेयर ऑफ अ सिचुएशन लाइक दैट but yeah they are helpful in sending out uh, good recommendations which will you know in turn help the recruiter to hire you mm-hmm. and they also help you a lot they say up with the course coordinator and all of them they help you in case of if there is uh, any step to be done in order to get a job i think mm-hmm. they do help you like you know fast forward the process from mm-hmm. their end mm-hmm. to expedite right. things just so that all everything right. falls all into right. place so that way people are helpful around here Mm-hmm. Now let's talk about the part-time job scenario. Are you doing any part-time job? Yes, I am currently working on campus. So I'm working in the culinary service. Kab se start kari? As soon Asha. as I came in in Jan, yeah, uh, I think one of the things that attracted me towards Kent State University was also like uh, I had heard from my seniors that bahut there's a good scope of getting the on-campus part-time job. Which takes hmm. care of all of your monthly expenses without you know, so घर से पैसे मांगने नहीं पड़ेंगे so that was like hmm. a really good a big assurance for me. Right. And right. Um, yeah, and it was pretty much true when I came here. Um, I applied. So, tell me something. 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 Legally work are twenty hours a week or twenty hours per week on campus, mm. and mm. Uh, I get paid ten point five dollars per hour. Okay, ten point five dollars per hour. Okay, per hour. So okay. for a, per week it goes. Uh, so we get paid oh, once in two weeks. Every two weeks, me once we get paid. Okay. So around four hundred dollars. The you know the salary goes up to like four hundred dollars, but um, mm. after taxes it. it etc in hand at the around 385 390 acha okay so to matlab 10 dollars somewhere around aisa ha 10 dollars ka tax cut gaya yeah 
ओपर्स <laughs> टेन डॉलर्स के अलावा और थर्टी डॉलर्स कटते हैं तो टोटल फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी डॉलर्स पर मंथ कटते हैं फ्रॉम योर सैलरी अच्छा आइडियली उतना कटना चाहिए बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ओनली टेन डॉलर्स आर एग्जाम्पल्ड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ टैक्स परफेक्ट परफेक्ट दिस दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी वैल्यू एडिंग इंफॉर्मेशन नाउ व्हेयर आर यू व्हाट इज योर पार्ट टाइम जॉब सो आई एम राइट नाउ वर्किंग इन द कलनरी सर्विसेज ऑफ द कैंपस ऑफ कैंट स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी सो कैंट स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी हैज फोर डिफरेंट कलनरी हब्स व्हिच एम्प्लॉय स्टूडेंट्स तो ओके राइट नाउ आई एम वर्किंग इन द स्टूडेंट हब वेयर मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल कम टू फॉर लाइक द ड्यूरिंग द लंच आवर और यू नो आफ्टर स्कूल सो आई एम वर्किंग इन वन ऑफ द स्टेशंस देयर राइट नाउ अच्छा ऑल राइट ऑल राइट How are the students who are studying at Kent State University? How open are they to the international students? And uh, have you faced any any major challenges uh, in your campus life as of now? Uh, uh, coming to the challenges, no, I've not faced any challenges when it comes to getting along with uh, the students who've been here for a while. Mm-hmm. They are pretty warm. They're friendly. they keep the conversation short but yeah like they helpful like uh, there is one class that i used to take along with a couple of um, international uh, i mean for them for me they were international students so yeah yeah, but, yeah. yeah and they were all pretty friendly and you know they ha- they were helpful when it came to court work and stuff so yeah mm-hmm. they're pretty mm-hmm. of course okay okay that's nice uh now uh, one thing that i forgot to ask you uh, do you guys also have any scholarship because you know the tuition fee is pretty high and uh, do you have do you know about any scholarship that an international student can you know target upon or any financial aid scholarships as of my knowledge no there are not really uh, big any scholarships awarded to international students at kent state university but coming to financial aid uh, if you get a position of a teaching assistant or a graduate assistant part of your fees is waived off for that semester so i think mm. which is a, like a pretty huge amount being waived off so mm. right 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 that's one of the financial aids offered to the and and what is the whole process of getting this financial aid i uh, see so you need to secure a graduate assistantship or a teaching assistantship under a professor mm. that's all and uh, yeah Okay, all right. Yeah, it's directly awarded. Okay, all right. When when do you start getting uh, TNRA positionships? Matlab. So that is totally like dependent upon the professor. Just say, uh, like some people get a, a teaching assistantship or a graduate assistantship as soon as they come into the as soon as they start their first semester. Like it is offered hmm. at all. Uh, I would like to say, if you master students, it's offered at all the semesters. Hmm. Hmm. So, TIA so RA positions ka uh, sorry uh-huh. to cut you off, but TIA yeah. RA positions ka payout is also generally thoda higher, right? Compared to other part-time jobs. So, of my knowledge, a pers hmm. uh, a TA gets only ten hours of work. A TA or a, a GA as such get only ten hmm. hours of work on campus. and their pay is 11.5 dollars not a major difference but then yeah, yeah. a huge chunk of the tuition gets waived off so i think that is a big add on right right so why are you not going for a ta and rf so right now in the department i am in a ta uh, or an ra position as of now is not available Okay. because the yeah uh, but there are other pos- positions like a student grader or and stuff mm. for which i have applied for the coming semester mm. uh, but yeah uh, i was uh, i did apply for an ra position in the field of like image processing under one of the professors and i did get selected okay. for as an as a research assistant back then but unfortunately okay. i was unable to like go ahead with it due to like certain other mm. constraints that i had mm-hmm. so let's say agar wo ra position pe you would have entered right So, what would have been the monetary benefits that you have got on your tuition? So, for the RA position that I had gotten into, there was 
so the, there was it had no uh, effect on the tuition i was getting Achha. 12 uh, 12 dollars per hour for a 20 hmm. hour job acha okay but in general because you mentioned ki theek hai tuition fee kafi uh, effect hoti hai aapki if if you get Correct. into a ta and a ra position to uske bare mein ta aur ga a graduate assistant ga position yes ta aur ga i know yeah तो उसके बारे में कुछ बताना इफ यू हैव एनी नॉलेज कि कितने पैसे बच सकते हैं या कितना व्हाट व्हाट इज द आल्सो एज ऑफ माय नॉलेज अगर आपको एक सेमेस्टर सो इन कैन स्टेट एट लीस्ट पर सेमेस्टर यू आर सपोज्ड टू टेक 9 क्रेडिट्स ओके सो इफ यू गेट अ टीए और अ जीए पोजीशन इन दैट सेमेस्टर द फी फॉर सिक्स ऑफ योर क्रेडिट्स गेट्स वेव्ड ऑफ सो दैट इज 6000 डॉलर्स गेट्स वेव्ड ऑफ एंड यू ओनली हैव टू पे 3000 डॉलर्स सबको पैसे बचाना What do you think? तुम्हारे seniors कहाँ कहाँ place हुए हैं and what are the prospects looking like uh, uh, in for your program? So right now, as of now, the job market is slightly shaky and um, we're expecting it to get back, like you know, get back on track by May 2024. Hmm. But uh, hmm. as of now, there have been pretty decent placements. A couple of my seniors have been placed at. decent organizations and you know their uh, mm-hmm. salary ranges from maybe $50,000 to like $90,000 per annum mm-hmm. yeah okay. and they've okay. been like uh, recruited right. in positions of analyst and data scientist positions so, yeah acha do you have any knowledge what has been the highest package and what has been the lowest package of previous so package? as of so the i can only like speak for my direct seniors i'm not very sure mm-hmm. of the people before them so mm-hmm. the highest of my knowledge is that it has gone to till 90k per annum okay. and um, the least one that i've heard abhi tak has to be between 50 to 55k 50 50000 okay fair fair enough. yeah fair enough, fair enough. and how how do you think you will be getting these jobs uh, how difficult it will be for you and how are you going to look out for all these jobs uh, it is going to be pretty difficult because the competition is th- there's a huge competition like the competition is like skyrocketing here there are a lot of students international students and you know the at home residents here who are all trying for the similar category of jobs uh, so yeah the competition is going to be really bad but i think the lookout as of now is uh, like you said networking plays a huge role so maybe getting in references from some someone who's already working in these organizations or via mm. or other platforms other job search pra- platforms is what i'm mm-hmm. thinking to like hmm acha chalo i guess megna we have covered a lot of things now it's time to move towards conclusion of this whole conversation right so i have a couple of questions and then we'll jump to the rapid fire round that i want to play with you uh sure. so my my uh, one of my last questions would be Why did you choose this program, and why mm-hmm. did you choose Kent State University? Okay, so I've chosen uh, data science because I've always in, been interested in analytics, and you know, statistics really interested me from the beginning. So for me, it did not happen that okay, okay, this is the most hottest job. It's like in the most trending job. I just want to get into it. No, I always had this plan that me ko data science me apna you know future banana hai. So isliye maine mm. undergrad se iski तैयारी शुरू कर दी थी तो मैंने अंडरग्रेड में भी मैथ्स स्टार्ट और कंप्यूटर्स लिया था विच लेड अ वेरी गुड फाउंडेशन फॉर माय मास्टर्स इन डेटा साइंस एंड देन माय जॉब डेफिनेटली एडेड ऑन टू लाइक द अदर स्किल्स दैट यू नो आई हैड अ आइडिया कि अच्छा इन रियल वर्ल्ड दिस इज हाउ द एनालिटिक्स आर अप्लाइड टू स्ट्रेटेजाइज एंड टू मेक यू नो मीनिंगफुल डेसिशन एट द एंड ऑफ द डे Right, right, right. So that's and why, why and why Kent State University? So Kent State University mainly because of uh, like when I was going through the course curriculums, a couple of uh, subjects were only offered at Kent State. There's a probabilistic data management. Mm-hmm. I I did not see any other university offering this particular subject. 
so probabilistic data management is more about strategizing based on uh, the information or you know the, the data you have that really added on and uh, so and moreover like ken may uh, what really attracted me was that the positions that it had like image processing me and all of these things like the labs and everything they were very mm. very well equipped and you know it was like a hub of technology so that's mm. why right okay all right so now uh, i think it's time to begin our uh, rapid fire round right my first question is tell me the worst thing about kent state university it's it doesn't have any um, good hangout spots maybe like movie the- ha indian cinema doesn't play around very in close places here so yeah that i do okay, not like all that right. all right all right okay uh, uh what's what's the what's the pro and a con what's one pro and one con of living in kent town so the pro would be that the cost of living is very low and you know a student can easily manage here without any external help hmm. and the con would be that um, because it is in the interiors there are a lot of things which are not easily accessible just ke liye you'll have to like take extra like additional uh, travel and you'll have to like go to get your stuff so that is a little mm. bad on some days but yeah that's the con i would say according to okay okay the next question would be uh, do you think you're coming back to india any day because you know hyderabad ki biryani for a vacation sure uh, but yeah i would like to explore the work culture in the united states and so i'd like to be here for a while perfect perfect uh, tell me a pro and a con about your program the pro about my program would be that uh, data science or you know analytics is trending right now so it gives you a good way into the it gives you an easy way into the uh, job industry and the con would be the same thing so there are so many people trying for the same kind of job which makes mm-hmm. it extremely competitive and a little difficult to get a of job of course of course okay uh, what's your favorite place to hang out inside your campus inside my campus has to be the library the libraries okay. are really cool here okay perfect uh, what's your go to food uh, what's your go to food uh, back in kent In Kent on campus there's a place called Hippie Chicken where they have chicken fingers mm-hmm. so yeah I really like the chicken fingers there All right how much how much does it cost It costs around $6 All right okay chalo my final question uh, out of 10 try and rate Kent State University Hmm <laughs> that's a little <laughs> tricky but yeah I, I would give it an 8 and it why yeah. why minus 2 aisa do marks kyu kaate ha because meko gta nahi mil raha na easily <laughs> <laughs> okay so very honest mark. yeah yeah very honest very honest and very rapid uh, this whole rapid fire round was uh, interesting uh, thank you so much megna thank you so much for this uh, free flowing conversation it was lovely talking to you and uh, thank you so much for having me over I I I really hope people who are you know aspiring for United States or are for aspiring for uh, Kent State University get to learn a lot of stuff. Uh also uh, this is for our viewers if you want to talk to Meghna regarding anything that uh, that you know you want to discuss with her uh, uh Meghna ka LinkedIn URL we are mentioning in the description box below so you can just go check out and have a talk with Meghna straight away. Thank you so much Meghna thank you for giving us your time uh before we go do you have any final advice for our viewers uh i would just advise them to like research well about the university they're getting into and once they hear all they have to do is work hard to get to their dream hmm perfect perfect mm-hmm. all right Meghna uh you have a good day ahead and thank you so much thank you very much So that was everything about Meghna and her journey of studying in the Kent State University. If you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon as well. Study abroad videos ke regular updates aate rahenge aapke feed mein. See you in the next video. Till then, this is me Swapnil signing off. Bye.